Good morning and welcome to this morning assembly on the topic Find the Silver Lining by Grade 7D. May I please ask everyone to rise up for the UAE National Anthem. Almighty God, thank you for this lovely morning. The day has begun and we seek on us your blessings. Guard us through this day in all we do and all we say. Almighty God, we ask our school will be a place of great discovery and creativity. Grant us in all our duties your help. Make it be a place where we love to learn and where we learn to love. Bless all those who care for us at school and at home. Such as this is my life and you, I dedicate to thee today. If you're wondering how to stay safe from coronavirus, here are a few precautions you can take right now to limit the spread. I request Fadisha to read the preamble. How can I try to stay well and avoid spreading the virus? Today, I will remember to wear a mask at all times. Today, I will remember to maintain a safe social distance of 2 meters at all times, even while using lift or walking in the corridors. Today, I will remember to wash my hands frequently with soap and water, especially before eating food and after using the washroom. Today I will remember not to touch my face, especially my eyes, nose or mouth. Today I will remember to cover my nose and mouth with my bent elbow or use a tissue when coughing or sneezing. Today I will remember to seek medical attention if I have fever or difficulty breathing. Today I will remember to report to school nurse if I notice any strength showing symptoms such as cough, body aches and shortness of breath, runny nose or headache. Today I will remember not to share my food, water and toiletries with others. Today I will remember to take care of myself and remember shed, sleep, hydrate, exercise and diet. Stay safe, stay healthy. Thank you. Thank you. I invite Aniket, Daniel and Arush to update us on the international, national and school news. Good morning everyone, here is today's international news. US President Joe Biden will deliver his first State of Union address on March 1st. He, the White House confirmed on Friday. India on Friday welcomed a joint pledge by the US, the UK, China, Russia and France to prevent the spread of atomic nuclear weapons and asserted that it remains committed to the goal of universal and non-discrimination verifiable nuclear disarmament. Israel opens up to international travelers. That's all for today. Thank you. National News New UAE Weekend School kicks off first ever Friday classes with shorter lessons break time. UAE weather to be cloudy, humid, overcoming days. Thank you. The PT2 exams will be slightly delayed due to the online learning. As per the new schedule, the exams will now start at 17th of January. 
the the jams global virtual innovation challenge will be held on 15th of january for grade 8 and on 22nd of january for grade 6 and 7 a tot a total of 34 teams from nms will be participating before we move on let's flip through the pages of 2021 Audible, right? That's it.
in English. Followed by the Arabic translation by Abdullah. We are the silver lining in any and every dark cloud we could ever find. There is no need to go looking for the light when you can bring it with you. Nanul Rita Al Panti Li Angi Safat Muslimat Isa Amtalakta La Tataj Lil Bazi and Anindoki. Every cloud has a silver lining. This refers to the darkness that overpowers the glimmer of hope. In life, one faces situations with no hope left in sight. No matter how bad the situation might seem, there is always light at the end of the tunnel. I invite Samantha to express her opinions about this. Imagine you're in a room. It's pitch dark. So dark that you cannot even see your own hand. Every time you try to move, you're always hitting something. And the worst part is that you cannot see that object. What do you feel? Petrified? Lost? Anguish? Frustration? Most of us feel the same way when we're in agony or things in life don't go right. The pain numbs our logical thoughts and we feel like happiness is never going to knock on our doors again. Food loses taste. Music just becomes plain noise. <laughs> Anger builds within us when we see joyful people around us. And the belief of happiness never returning into our lives solidifies further in our minds. Now imagine you find a switch. When you turn on the switch and the presto, a light kindles above your head. Suddenly, the room isn't as daunting as before. And you can navigate through the room using this light. With light, fear diminishes and hope awakens. Find the silver lining is a proverb with a very, very grave meaning. However, the question is, how do you find that silver lining? Now, any normal life is never a walk to a persistent dark tunnel. There's always a start somewhere and an end somewhere. Sometimes the journey is so long in the dark that you can never see the light at the end of the tunnel or even imagine that there will be an end. In this kind of a situation, you look, try to look for the light in the past time. As you started your journey from the light, you can always remember that light in the darkest of hours. When the present and the future seems dark, draw your light from the past. A fond and content memory can light up your day. It can make you stronger, more hopeful and optimistic. Here are ways to keep going even with darkest situations when life feels hopeless. See it as a way to re-evaluate. See it as a way to restructure your life and bring it back on track. Think of reasons why you should be grateful. Rather than letting the unfortunate situation tear you down, shift your focus from the negativity, the judgment and the disappointment to taking down reasons why you should be grateful. So take a step back and look for the good in the unfortunate situations. Look at the bad situation as a critic. You can always build up on yourself. You can always do something to help yourself deflect the same blunder from sneaking up on you again. Remember that you have the power to change the situation. Rather than letting the unfortunate situation ride out, take control of it and bring it and force it back to calm waters. An instance we can all relate to is Expo. Although it was planned for 2020, it did not transpire as an effect of COVID. In this case, COVID is the darkness in our lives. In this situation, the silver lining that seeped in and emerged in the darkness was the postponement of Expo to 2021. Currently, there are numerous events taking place there. Artists, scientists, diplomats, ministers and industrialists uniting to create a more fortunate future. Ideas and people connecting minds to create a more sustainable and brighter future for, for the next generation. So when life feels dim and despairing, and when you feel like the walls are caving in, do not let the unfortunate situation get to you, but all go and search and seek the silver lining. Music can be used to express our feelings with loads of harmony. I invite our classmates to entertain us with the song, My Silver Lining. Through the hardships, 
Good morning, all. Uh, may I please request our dear principal, Miss Martin, to address the gathering. Good morning, guys. I think let's start with Miss Venetia. Um, if if Miss Venetia can be spotlighted as well, and then uh, I would like to say a few words to morning, Miss Venetia. Morning, ma'am. Uh, good morning, everyone. Um, uh, first of all, I would like to thank um, Miss Anju and her grade seven B for really being the silver lining today uh, in the assembly, and such profound, such a profound message which was uh, shared by Samantha, and even the lyrics of the song, it well, well, well uh, shared. And I'm definitely, it has impacted everyone. A word or a phrase probably has impacted everyone. I, I want to too. know, was that, uh, you know, a self-composed lyrics or uh, was it a, I mean, is, is it a song to that effect? I, I don't know any song to that effect. Uh, it's, was it self um, Mr. Alvin, we'll check with Mr. Alvin, ma'am. Uh, okay, Mr. Yeah. Alvin is there online? Um, Mr. Alvin uh, is not on this Zoom link. Okay. He is uh, so, the YouTube uh, but, uh, Maybe students. one of our students is Samantha there online. Could, could she tell? No. Uh, they're all, all not able they to. They're all on they're the all just YouTube getting live streamed. Yes, okay. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Anju, so, who do you know? Was this uh, song self-composed? No, uh, no, ma'am. That's actually there. Uh, every cloud has a silver lining. Oh, I see. Okay. But I thought, what a, what a beautiful set of words. You know, just so augmented the theme very well. Yeah. Uh, so uh, just to add, because uh, I believe Samantha has already shared quite an, uh, a lot of strategies in order to ensure that we find the silver lining. So she has cited uh, many examples of, uh, you know, to prove her point. Just wanted to say, right, uh, when I was thinking about today's assembly, the theme of the assembly, there were three words, actually, uh, which came to my mind. That is adapt adapt and adopt. So uh, we have adapted to the situation, to the current situation, irrespective of where we found ourselves, at what time we found ourselves in. Uh, we've also become adept. The pandemic has actually uh, provided uh, skill sets for us. We have adapted in, in terms of technology. I think we've gone way beyond than what we would have ever expected to do uh, in a scenario wherein we were just on site. So it has pushed us to excel in, um, in not only in technology, but to be resilient. And um, it has just moved us forward, I would say. So currently, what is the new word that I felt that we need to work on is adopt. So what do we need to adopt? Given the situation, in order to find a our silver lining, not just in situation, in circumstances, but also to find the silver lining within ourselves. Like um, Samantha mentioned about when you enter a dark room and you turn on the light. 
So who's that light? It's us. It's about how we adopt now the mindset. So I would say it's about adopting a growth mindset, a growth mindset to stay positive, to be positive, and to shine that positivity so that it spreads around us. Secondly, I would say believe in yourself. Is it possible? Yes, it is. You can be that sunshine. You can be that silver lining. Because I, I remember um, the words of uh, from Vincent. I'm sure uh, when, uh, Vincent Van Hogg, I think uh, many of you know the artist because Ms. Sidra uses, Mr. Sumitawa uses those techniques in your art lessons. And uh, I like the quote that he shared. He says, if you hear a voice inside you that says you can't paint, then paint. And that voice will be silenced. So believe in yourself. Look at every challenge that comes your way as opportunities for growth. Stay positive. The immediate response to any situation is to murmur or to, uh, you know, initially would be immediately to say something negative. But I would always say, as uh, I believe uh, some time ago, ma'am, Ms. Martin had shared, take that pause. So that pause is very important. Before a word comes out of your mouth, because your brain will immediately respond to that. So take a pause, think, how can I change this situation, this calamity into an opportunity and be that silver lining? Second, I would say nothing comes without hard work. So you have to go that extra mile if you need to be and find the silver lining. So let's all uh, in this new year take a resolution that we will find the silver lining not only in situations, in circumstances, in others, but in ourselves as well. So uh, thank you very much, everyone, and uh, wishing you a lovely day ahead, a wonderful year, and be the silver lining, find your silver lining, and over to Ms. Martin to share her insights with us. Thank you, Ms. Thank you. What a beautiful um, way to put it, you know, to, uh, because, and there are so many things that what you said, uh, it is what is within that holds us good in times of adversity. Uh, if, if within, if we are all shallow and uh, if there is no substance within us, then, uh, you know, with the simplest of challenges or, or a googly that life can throw at us, we will succumb. We will think, oh, this is the end of the road. We won't be, you know, like there are small things that will come our way and we'll say, oh, this is too much pressure. This is too much stress. Life um, is never easy, isn't it? Look at what the pandemic has taught us. When we just thought, okay, you know, there was a COVID-19, look at the number of variants that have come in. And then we said, okay, now there is an Omicron. Yesterday I read there is something uh, like a conjugation between the Delta and the Omicron. It's called the uh, Delta Cron. And then yesterday uh, I also read that uh, there could be people, uh, it was in college times, that there could be people who have influenza and coronavirus. So that was called um, Flucron. Uh, I mean, uh, God, uh, you know, like look at the number of challenges that are coming our way. So there are health challenges. There are a whole lot of other challenges because of the pandemic. And if within us, if we are not strong, if there is no substance to keep us strong, like Ms. Venetia said in so many ways, she said, you are the light. And, you know, so for you to be radiating that light, what is fueling you within? What is, you know, fueling you so that, you know, you're emitting light? Um, and, and that is where hope comes in big time. So, uh, you know, that whole silver lining, and I shared this picture with Ms. Anju, uh, which I remember vividly because I was one of those people who was stuck in uh, India when the um, flights were cancelled in the month of July, August. It started, I think, in the month of June uh, or May when flights got cancelled um, between India and UAE. I had to go um, for some unavoidable reason. And I was stuck there in the month of July and August. Um, and I, I couldn't return. And my daughter was leaving to university in August. 
I, it was all so uh, worrisome and uh, in such despair. I was standing on my balcony one evening and, and this is what I saw. Can you, can you share that picture, Ms. Anju? Can you see that? That was, I took that from the balcony. No, I was just so worried and I was just praying. And this was in the evening and I looked up at the sky and if you uh, zoom in, Ms. Anju, I don't know if you can zoom in in that picture, uh, but if you can zoom in, you can actually see that silver lining um, on those clouds. Uh, you know, uh, that, that I thought was really God's way of showing that not all is lost. And I remember that night, you know, I just knelt down and I literally prayed like a child. And I said, I need to get back to Erin because before she goes, you know, it was just 10 days, I think. This was on 27th of July. She was flying out on 10th of August. And, uh, and I said, I've hardly got, you know, 10 days, even if I reach there by 31st to spend time with Erin. Can you please, please, please do something? And I remember the next day morning, I woke up and uh, the first thing in the newspaper was that flights have opened. You know, I can't even believe what, um, you know, that, uh, uh, you know, that was answer to my prayers. Was that the silver lining? I, I don't know what. But all through, I thought it was about hope. Uh, and hope is something that you should never, ever give up. You know, I don't know how many of you have watched this movie, Shawshank Redemption, and I'll end my speech with this one. Shawshank Redemption is a 1994 film, by the way, but it's never too old for us to watch in so many ways. It is just about a group of these, um, you know, um, uh, guys who are um, who are incarcerated because, uh, you know, in, in the Shawshank prison. And uh, this guy called Dufresne, you know, he comes in, Andy Dufresne, uh, he's a banker, you know, uh, great, great at his job, but he comes in because he's accused of murder of his wife. Um, but when he comes in and he says he's actually innocent, like everyone else in the prison says that they're innocent. Well, that's not the point. But uh, at one point, you know, he gets friendly with um, another, um, you know, uh, co-inmate. And, um, and, and then, you know, he says, they think that it's all lost because they are, you know, they're they are just jailed there for double life sentences. So where is the way out? And, um, and, and Andy Dufresne says, you know, um, he says something about hope. And um, uh, I thought that was such a um, solid uh, thing to say. He says, hope is a good thing, maybe the best of things and no good thing ever dies. You know, um, and uh, that is what hope should do to all of us. And in fact, this whole origin of the uh, phrase, a cloud, silver lining behind every dark cloud, that origin of the phrase is very first in the beginning. It was from John Milton's poems. Um, I, I do wish, Ms. Rianne, that you can at least use some John Milton poem for our students to understand who John Milton was and his manner of writing, which is all allegory. Allegory means... Uh, it is all metaphorical. It is all figurative. It is all like looking at the hidden meaning between every phrase. Um, and uh, John Milton is the one way back, is such an age old poet, one of the first poets maybe. And he uses that in his poem, um, Every Cloud Has a Silver Lining. And it is so beautifully said. So um, our whole life is an allegory, isn't it? If it come to think of it. And hope should drive all of us. So like Ms. Venetia said, you need to be, that light has to come emanate from within you. If it has to come from within you, you can't be hollow on the inside. You know, it, it, within you, you must be like a powerhouse, um, you know, like um, what fuels the sun, you know, and the sun, it's not even like, you know, it's a combustion. It's not even combustion. What fuels the sun? It's nuclear fusion. So you should be like that, you know, uh, which is like a, such a chain reaction. It just like keeps pumping you to do more and to achieve more. OK, so I hope that spirit just spreads and pervades to all of the middle schoolers. And on that note, Ms. Anju and your wonderful students, thank you for such an invigorating assembly. Wish you all a very good day, guys. Thank you. Over to you, Ms. Anju. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much for your words of encouragement, as always, for supporting us, for encouraging us by your words and your actions. Uh, thank you, Ms. Venetia, for helping us to make this assembly as successful as possible. Thank you.
May I ask everyone to rise for the school song.